the details now in a story we first brought you as breaking last night at five. A local pastor carjacked by a man claiming to have a gun. The man accused appeared in court today and tonight we're learning more about why officials believe the suspect is a flight risk. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is live in Warwick now where the suspect faced a judge today. Kate. Mike and Shannon, inside a district courtroom here at Kent County Courthouse, the suspect, Casimir Dynek, said he's not from around here. He's from Connecticut. There's no word yet on what led him to Elmwood Avenue in Cranston Wednesday night, where police say he's responsible for at least two crimes. But we do know that his out-of-state address did impact his bail today. 28-year-old Casimir Dynak ordered held on $20,000 surety bail, which means he can post $2,000 to get out. Cranston police asked for a higher than usual bail for a felony carjacking charge because he could be considered a flight risk. He said he was from Berlin, Connecticut. Dynak is accused of stealing the car of a local pastor identified in court as Eric Brown in the parking lot of this mill complex at 1655 Elmwood Avenue in Cranston. Pastor Brown told police just before two Wednesday afternoon, a man told him to get out of his car or he would shoot him. Brown allegedly didn't take him seriously, but when the man started reaching into his backpack, the pastor said he got out of the vehicle fearing for his life. That's when police say the suspect took off. Eyewitness News spoke off camera with a man who said he saw the pastor in distress and chased down the suspect in the stolen vehicle. The vehicle proceeded to travel northbound on Wellington Avenue and as it approached the intersection of Park Avenue and Wellington Avenue, our officers were able to stop it and took the suspect down at gunpoint place him into custody without further incident. Cranston police later identified that suspect as Casimir Dynak, saying despite his threats, Dynak did not have a weapon on him. No plea was entered on Dynak's behalf at his arraignment because this is a felony case that will be brought to Superior Court now. Eyewitness News checked court records and found Dynak had no prior criminal record here in Rhode Island. New at 6 o'clock tonight, we'll show you surveillance video we obtained today of an incident about 45 minutes that could have prevented that carjacking shortly afterwards. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Now at 6, new details on the man accused of carjacking a church pastor in Cranston. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live from Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Casimir Dynag was arraigned here on a felony count of carjacking at Kent County Courthouse this morning, but Cranston police also named him in an incident that happened about 45 minutes prior to that carjacking, they said. And today we spoke with two men off camera who said they were responsible in each incident for stopping Dynag so he wouldn't get away. No plea entered in district court as 28-year-old Casimir Dynak of Berlin, Connecticut was arraigned on one count of felony carjacking. Cranston police say just before 2 Wednesday afternoon, a local pastor identified in court as Eric Brown was sitting in his car at this mill building at 1655 Elmwood Avenue in Cranston when the suspect threatened to shoot him if he didn't get out of his car. We spoke with a man off camera who said Pastor Brown flagged him down and he chased the stolen vehicle. Police later arrested the suspect, identified as Dynak, and discovered he was blocked about a weapon. But just 45 minutes before that carjacking, Cranston police say they spoke to Dynak in that same area about sitting in an elderly woman's car. Eyewitness News obtained the surveillance video from the local mechanic, Jose Rivera, who says he caught Dynak as he tried to run from the scene just as the elderly woman called police. You can see about 10 minutes later, police got there. When police investigated it, they identified him as Casimir Dynak and dispersed him from the area as the victim did not want to pursue formal charges. But Rivera said Dynak did not leave the area, accused of the carjacking less than an hour later, just across Elmwood Avenue. Casimir Dynak is due back in court on November 14th for a pretrial hearing. Live in Warwick tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.